In the previous video, we learned about the use form hook. This hook returns an object that contains several useful properties and methods that can be used with forms. In this video, we'll dive deeper and understand how the use form hook helps manage form state. So what exactly do we mean by form state? Every form has a few moving parts that keep changing from the time a user loads the form to the time they submit it. This can include the current value of every field in the form, whether a field has been interacted with, whether a field's value has changed, whether the form is invalid, whether a field contains error, and much more. All of this data collectively can be referred to as the form state. In code, we can represent the form state as an object with key value pairs. As you can see, there is so much to track and trying to do this manually is time consuming. Let's head back to VS Code and understand how React hook form makes this process easier. To help manage form state, React hook provides a method called register that can be accessed on the form object. Let's destructure it. This method allows us to register a form control with React hook form. We can call this method passing in a string argument. To register the username field, we pass in username as the string. The method in turn returns four methods that we need to hook into the form control. Name, ref, on change, and on blur. Now on the username input, we can add props. Name is going to be equal to name. Ref is equal to ref. On change is equal to on change. And on blur is equal to on blur. Doing this automatically enables React hook form to start tracking the state of this form control. However, this does seem like an awful lot of code to track just one field, right? Well, yes. But in the library's defense, I've showed you the elaborate version of what happens under the hood. To simplify registering a field with React hook form, we can directly spread the register method on the form control. Let's remove the call to register and all the attributes apart from type and ID on the input element. Instead, we can use curly braces, spread operator, call register function, passing in the name of the field, which is username. As you can see, everything is now abstracted for you, making it a lot simpler to type. Let's repeat this for the other two fields as well. Replace name with a call to register, and the string is email. Replace name with a call to register, and the string argument is channel. If you haven't noticed, the argument is nothing but the name attribute value that was previously present. All right, React Hook form is now in charge of our form state. But how exactly do we verify that? Let's learn in the next video, where I will also introduce you to a really cool tool that complements React Hook form. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.